Welcome back everybody to another video review and today we're looking at the Dreamy Tech T30. Now first thing I'll point out is of course it's beautiful design and the fact it comes with a wall mounted charger which means it keeps it out of the way and it also keeps it charged anytime you need it for use around the house so you don't have to worry about plugging it in and out. Now it easily slips in and out of this charger. So don't worry, it's not super heavy. It's actually a very light vacuum. And you know, you can hold it with one hand, you can hold it with two, and you don't have to be relatively strong. It is pretty light. Now here it is, the LCD screen, where it shows a bunch of different settings. You can change it from auto to eco to medium to turbo mode. On top of that, it does have a lock feature. So when you hold down the trigger to start the vacuum, you can choose to either lock it so you don't have to hold it, or you can choose to unlock it so you do have to hold it in between each pull, which means the vacuum will turn on and off very quickly. Or you can leave it on, and that way you continue to vacuum. Now you may have also noticed the, L, the little green light around it. That is the dust level indicator, which will tell you how dusty the area is. Now let's get to actually vacuuming up some soil and some sphagnum moss I put on the ground to show you how easy it is to vacuum up any mess. Now here I am going right at the soil and I'm barely pushing it at all. It's really just gliding itself and that's pretty much it. On the way back, it will clean up any excess that you left. And it's the same thing with the sphagnum moss and the other soil. It really is just a quick there and back and it gets pretty much every single little bit of whatever mess is on the ground. Um, and this includes cat hair, dog hair. I've tried it with it all. It works just amazing. Now, the next thing you might be thinking is, how do you empty this thing? Well, I usually just pop the rod off and then it just leaves you with the canister, which empties from the bottom, meaning you don't have to pull anything out. It barely even makes a mess. So I just go over to my garbage can, pop it up, open up the bottom, it dumps everything out, and that is absolutely it. There's nothing else to it. That's how easy it is to clean this thing out. And that includes tons of dishwasher safe, washable parts that you can just throw in to clean, including the filter, meaning yes, the filter can just be cleaned. Now, some of you might want additional accessories. Well, this is also a hand vacuum. So for cat trees, for hard to reach areas, for stairs, this is the perfect accessory because there's so many little different attachments that make it so no matter what you're trying to clean, you can still get the job done. One part about this cat tree is it has these little circular edges, which make it impossible to clean with this attachment. But if you pull it off and put on this other little corner attachment, it allows you to get in those hard to reach areas while also scratching up any hair so it lifts it up into the vacuum giving you the cleanest possible surface area for your cat tree and for those hard to reach areas. Now, when we're talking about corners, that's another question because with this vacuum, you can move it into those hard to reach places due to the easily movable head. And this also allows you to get underneath those hard to reach areas. I couldn't suggest any vacuum except the Dreamy Tech T30 today. What? <laughs>